What's going on everybody? This is Joe with Ultradyne USA. Many of you are already familiar with our muzzle brakes and have seen firsthand just how effective they can be. In this video, I'm going to dive a little deeper into the research and testing that has gone into designing them and how we've optimized our designs to give you the best product possible. Recoil reduction has always been the main performance parameter we aim to optimize in our brakes. So we needed a reliable method to record data. This need led us to design and construct what we call our load cell. We have seen many videos and heard of many different ways that compare recoil reduction to muzzle devices, but we have noted many variables that could impact accuracy that should be avoided to get the best scientific conclusion. Therefore, we had several design parameters for our testing method to guarantee accurate results. First, we wanted our system to be static, ensuring no force was displaced by the entire system moving under recoil. A static system around the gun, strictly measuring a linear force, is the most accurate way to consistently get recoil measurements. This avoids the effect of fluctuations in friction that could occur from shot to shot and some of the other recoil measuring setups, such as using a sled that's sliding along linear rails or even a pendulum that swings under recoil. Second, the trigger pull needed to be a controlled variable that was the exact same every time. A slight difference in pressure or torque from someone pulling a trigger manually could skew your force results. Third, we have commonly seen recoil results recorded without factoring in the velocity difference between each shot. A velocity difference of 20, 40, sometimes even 80 feet per second is common in factory ammunition, and each velocity will produce a different force. So we needed to normalize those velocity differences by recording them with a chronograph and using them as a scalar in our force equation. Finally, a semi-automatic system cycling the spent cartridge will alter the true recoil measurement. So the best way to ensure consistent results is to install our adjustable gas block and shut off the gas completely, stopping the semi-automatic cycling process altogether. This sends a more consistent amount of gas out of the muzzle compared to gas exiting during the recoil process. These parameters guided us to our load cell design, where much of our muzzle brake testing takes place. The outside is built with a metal frame surrounding the rifle to allow weight to be added if needed to keep the system static. We designed a trigger pull me mechanism with a lever and a Bowden cable so that the trigger could be actuated in the same manner every time. The rear rest houses a piezoelectric sensor that measures the electric charge in a metal plate in response to applied mechanical stress. Our sensor indicates that every 10 millivolts corresponds to one pound force. This enables us to record our data set at a rate of 10,000 samples per second, convert our data points to force readings, and then output them onto a graph in order to understand the recoil and observe when a change in recoil occurs. These graphs provide not only our peak recoil force, which is the highest point on the graph, but also our recoil impulse. The impulse is the area under the curve from the recoil. This factors in the duration the recoil is felt, giving us the overall felt recoil. The best muzzle brake design minimizes these results, providing the lowest felt recoil to the user. Today, we continue to push forward with all of our products, aiming to provide the best possible shooting experience. Research and testing is the forefront of our designing process and will continue to be to provide the best possible results for our consumers. If you enjoyed this type of content, please let us know in the comments. We love hearing from our viewers. And to see our future content and keep up with all of our latest products, check out our social media or visit our website at ultradineusa.com.